No, you're all for breaking the rules. Yes. <laughs> well, not on purpose. Well, I think it's no, no, no. I'm I think it's pathological. The rules are good here, no, but, but I think it's pathological. Yeah, but uh, I, I think uh, it also needed to happen. I mean, uh, so you break the rules in a play, you break the rules in a theater, you break. The but rules the, you don't break company. the rules on money because it's a short right. term. You know, you lose. No, right. I mean, what was I, I think the most useful? Well, it was really useful to actually grab the checkbook. And so, it was useful to grab the keys to the place because the building was fantastic. We're talking about the Trinity Square building, which has now been eaten up by the Eaton Center. Or no, it's not even called the Eaton Center. What's it called now? Sears? Was it Sears? <laughs> Whatever. The yeah. big square in downtown Dundas, yeah. Queen, Toronto, Young Street. But well, so there used to be a gorgeous 200-seat <clears throat> theater in there with no pillars, much like the building we have now, but without the pillars. Right. And uh, well, and about the same height actually, and you could do anything with what uh, what you wanted there, within reason, because everybody knew the building was going to get torn down by Eaton, well, by the development right. eventually, right. and it was part of the Church of the Holy Trinity. Oh, the building was turned around. The church was surrounded, right? Yeah. Right. There was a church hall. It was a, a church hall that had a wonderful history. Okay, so we're yeah we're in that part of the world. We're uh, we have a terrific space. We have a whole bunch of fascinating actors, directors, and other theater people who aren't fitting in. Like some of them, like me, tried to fit in. I became an assistant director at Stratford for a couple of years. I did some uh, workshops. Like you, you were allowed to do as many workshops as you could talk actors into. The polite ones did one a year, and I did four. Mm -hmm. uh, they were really some of them were really good. But I want to go back. To, I <laughs> yes, want to go back to the but more. But it didn't matter. So <laughs> basically, you know, people came out of uh, that system or couldn't get into that system, and there was all this talent around. And so, so you're talking. Sorry, Paul. You're talking, Toronto, the, you're talking about the in Toronto in 1970. System, you're talking about the system of Toronto theater and uh, Canadian theater in 1970s. Yeah, Canadian theater in 1970s, okay. which was too rule bound. Which was for you? I don't know about rule bound, but it was it did not in any way capture the excitement of the potential talent that was around. I think that's the most, you know the nicest way to put it. And your your approach to the that kind of work that I we were was doing to break, yeah, it, to break well, it open because yeah. you you made a comment to Mike just uh -huh. before you said Mike Mike, Mike Wallace yeah. uh, the state uh, who is now the general manager right yeah. of, of the theater museum yeah and he was he a was, stage he, manager for me and you he said I remember the phrase anarchy, yes. you said you were one or of the best tolerated. Mike because you weren't afraid of anarchy yeah exactly well I think a, an essential part of the way I work has to bring that anarchy into the into the creative process. And how do you bring the anarchy into the creative process? Uh, I think it probably is there already and you just have to find it. Um, I think that basically people who go into a process of creating a, a show thinking they know how they're going to do it either should be ready for a change of mind or they're not going to find it. And I think that, you know, the best experiences I've had with an audience is making that discovery partly along the way and then finally with an audience. But in each time I think of uh, the shows that we've managed to make work, there's been an, uh, a wonderful discovery made with the audience and by the audience as the show, you know, proceeded. So let's, let's follow that anarchy thread yeah. through, if we may. Sure. Let's start with the actor. If, yeah. you, if you're working with an actor who yeah. is perhaps hidebound by rules or expectations yeah. or, uh -huh. yes, you know, Mr. Bedford is going to do another <laughs> Mr. Bedford. Mm -hmm. What would you say? How would you approach that actor? I don't think you, we, would, we probably wouldn't end up in the same room for very long. 